I don't want the youngest. I want the rich. Hedy Lamarr has long been celebrated as one of the most beautiful women of the classic Hollywood era. But it wasn't until more recently that the world recognized her for her inventive mind, which helped shape the modern world. Hedwig Eva Maria Kiesler was born in Vienna in 1914, coming of age in the tumultuous 30s in Europe. She began her career in movies at just 16, gaining international notoriety for her role in Ecstasy, 1933. In Ecstasy, she made history, possibly delivering the first simulated orgasm in movies. After she came to Hollywood, she changed her name to Lamar to distance herself from that scandalous movie. Before the lights and glamour of Tinseltown came calling, she married an Austrian named Friedrich Mandel. He was charming and fabulously wealthy. He was also an arms dealer doing business with Mussolini and Hitler. Her life with Mandel was like something out of a movie, a controlling villain in her own life. Hetty finally escaped her oppressive marriage by dressing up as a maid and fleeing to Paris and then London. In London, she met famed studio mogul Louis Mayer, who offered her a contract with MGM, a decision that would change her life. She starred in films like Algiers, 1938, and Lady of the Tropics, 1938, captivating audiences with her exotic beauty. Despite her success, she yearned to contribute to the war effort but was told to use her celebrity to sell war bonds. Hetty was not completely deterred by this. She heard that torpedoes were having their radio control signals jammed and were going off course. She came up with the idea of frequency hopping and worked with composer George Anfield to figure out how to make it work. They got a patent, but the military wasn't interested at the time. Her idea is now considered to be the basis for Wi-Fi, GPS and Bluetooth technologies. Anfield wasn't the only one who recognized Lamar's genius. Howard Hughes held deep respect and admiration for her inventive and innovative talents. She remained active in the film industry until the late 1950s and even played a role in the establishment of a ski resort alongside one of her husbands, although she ultimately lost ownership of the resort in a divorce settlement. Hetty was married five more times, with her final marriage being to her divorce lawyer. After that, she chose to remain single for the rest of her life. She became reclusive, and despite receiving job offers, she declined them. In 1966 and again in 1996, she faced arrests for shoplifting. Additionally, she filed a lawsuit against Mel Brooks due to a character named Hedley Lamar in Blazing Saddles. Brooks settled the lawsuit amicably. Hetty also took legal action against Carell for unauthorized use of her likeness and against the publisher of her autobiography, claiming that it contained substantial fictionalization. Rather than an eccentric, old woman who wanted to be alone, Hedy Lamarr should be remembered as one of Hollywood's most beautiful screen goddesses, who helped change the world with her innovative mind.